What you doing? Is this your bed now? Is this your little bed? Oh, hello. You've got a good view. And just like that, we're in California. Not only for the warm weather, but we have some repairs to make with Vinny in Sacramento. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, on my list. Okay, good. Well, I guess what you would do, now that I think about it. I know, I know. You... Ask me, pick me. <laughs> okay, hold, hold on. This will be a four-part mini-series bringing you friendship, laughter, adventure, and our first visit to Sequoia National Park, which we were blown away by. It's stunning. It's amazing, isn't it? It's totally stunning. With a little RV education and repairs along the way. But first, we need to hook up and get on the road. It's a cold one, but finally we're going in the right direction. We're gonna drag this Airstream to California. We're going up to Vinny's in Sacramento to get some repairs, maybe even some modifications. Uh, but on the way, we have some fun stuff. We're gonna swing through Palm Springs. We're gonna visit uh, Will and Sue, who are from Maine. Uh, they're out here in their Airstream. We're gonna visit Jeff and Deb in um, Laguna Beach. We're gonna go on a ride. They have all sorts of fun stuff planned. And then we're gonna make our way up to Sacramento in a route that we're really not sure yet uh, how we're going to get there but uh, it's not going to be in the 30s it's going to be in the upper 60s so we're pretty excited about that so i just hooked up the truck to the airstream trish is getting ready inside and uh, our goal is to get out here in about one hour and we're going to go actually we're going to take the 40 through kingman and we're going to drop down into palm springs so let's get going is somebody ready to go on a trip is somebody ready to go on a trip yes hey a lot of people miss you charlie How's it going in here? <laughs> it's going okay. <laughs> Trying to repack and get on the road. Yes. I'm pretty pumped about going to California. Mm. Um, <clears throat> we have some good stuff planned and we're gonna get out of 30 degrees and we're gonna be in 70 degrees. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about it's that. It's the same thing I said downstairs. Really? It is. Um, what's your plan with the fridge? I have no plan. This is our solution. We hope it works. I'm 50-50, and if I think replacing that fan right there is going to work, it's kind of a do-it-yourself project. Take off that shrouding in the back of the freezer, replace this fan. Um, we've really enjoyed this fridge. 12-volt fridge, lots of capacity, keeps ice cream cold, doesn't consume a ton of power, but it is a constant draw, so you do need, I think you, you need lithium batteries if you're gonna move to a 12-volt fridge. Even though they don't draw much, they just never stop and so it can wear out your batteries. But I'm gonna throw this fan in there and we're gonna hope that the fridge starts working because we're gonna be a couple weeks in California uh, before we drop it off at Vinny's. And if we don't have a fridge, it's just, you, you could spend the price of a fridge going out to eat every day. So this will be a project we get to probably tomorrow morning, if I had to guess. In the meantime, we're using our fridge as a cooler. The cooler is. Look who it is. You got the whole back row to yourself. Come on. Woo! Good boy. How's it feel, Charlie? How's it feel? Not talking. I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna put in Palm Springs for now, and then I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna hope to remember to change it to the RV park we're going to. <laughs> When we switch driving, I'll do that. That'll okay. be our cue when we switch. That's 35 minutes from now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm I'm actually glad Trish did that because she said, do you, do you want me to go spot you? And I said, no, I'll be all right because I've done it so many times. That is the risk of experienced RVers is thinking that you're fine. When in reality, you should take the same precautions that you took when you were new. Cause there's no way if I was new, I'd do this without a spotter. So just follow the plan.
This is the exit that we took in the bus to go to Oatman when we were doing Route 66. So if you, so if you ever are traveling on Route 66 and you're coming down through Arizona, you're headed to Santa Monica, Oatman is an option. And it's a really cool old, almost a ghost town with a bunch of donkeys. And we had a lot of fun and it was really pretty driving up through the mines and all the stuff getting in there. So uh, I'll link up that episode because it was fun. The whole Route 66 series I think was a lot of fun. It actually wasn't really that easy because it's such a little narrow site. Yeah, but look at how nice it is. I bet you you're going to be super level. Your little brain is going to feel so relaxed. You're going to oh. sleep so easy. Today. Wow, you think so? Yes. Look, it has a little. Water. It has the little trays that Disney has. Fort Wilderness has. Sewer, yeah, a little fourth up there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. <laughs> this is really. Beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? Yes. I'm a little warm. It's fabulous. I was walking around. I'm like. I can feel my mood getting better. I'm so happy. Yeah. I don't like being freezing. No. Uh, right. What you doing in here? Making a little light appetizer board. Mm-hmm. I like things that have an edge on them so that you can kind of build it up a little bit. Oh yeah. I, I'm not going crazy here. I'd really like to have some fruit and I'd like it to go overboard, but I don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight, so here we go. So we're doing. So we're visiting Will and Sue and you might remember them from the episode we did up in Camden, Maine, a couple years ago now. Of course, we've seen them between uh, that episode and now. And they uh, have an Airstream, a 30-foot, actually similar model to this, but instead of the bunk, it's an office. And they were one of the first ones to get that. And I actually think, Trish, we might have been a little responsible for the influence of that. Yeah, I found one in Arizona. Let's Wait, you? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I know. Right? What's not to like? Yes. I could work there. You could. I you could. could work there. And I think I don't have to wait for two years, like you said. I'd, we just go this and get it in January. You know, I think Will's plot to get us to come here and convince you to get an yeah, RV. Yeah, but he wants, he wants me to get a smaller one. I'm, but I'm he only wants this. a smaller one because he thinks that'd be more comfortable and easier for you. I just want you to be happy. Is that right? That's all okay, I want. Okay, then I want one of those big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Paradise. Nice, nice to see you. you. Hello. Oh Outside of your helmet. <laughs> How are you? Good. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Great to see you too. Oh it's so good to see you. Oh my God. Wow. Look at this. Look at you. Long mate. time. I know. Yes. This is great. Yeah. This we just so fun. did this. What's the weather in Maine like right now? Cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Will was saying this was the very first bunkhouse office ever sold. That's true. Really? Yeah. Well, oh, I should. Number one. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look at the cabinets. I love it. I love these. I know, but we don't have these this, this that's, different. That's what I said. I walked in. I'm yes. like, it's so beautiful. She's like, you have the same. I just stuck like, something not, in the closet. The same <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Brett, you come in. Come All right. On. Yeah, no, I love it. Oh, wow. All right. Oh my gosh. See the little office? Now it's. That's fantastic. Kinda, by buffet. Well, sure. Now you're, you know, entertaining. Mm -hmm. But see, but look, I'll show you something. Look, there's drawers here. Drawers here. This comes out as a return, so you have a great big space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my monitor here. I can do, I can do everything. Now, you retired like a few months ago, but when you were working. Two years. Two years? But I volunteered. Now I'm a volunteer treasurer of the Yacht Club, so I'm busy. Okay. Yeah. But, so you but it's working. It works great. So awesome. It's great. It's amazing. It's, I really it's like it. That's awesome. And it's a little uh, messy. is it? It's a little messy. It's not terrible, but um, oh yeah, you know, I've seen worse. Oh yeah. Now wait, do you keep your motorcycle in here? I don't. I keep my motorcycle at a friend's house. Oh, you do. I, I leave it there for oh. the season. And so basically, all the stuff you want on the site, you just leave in here. Yeah. And so when we when we leave in the winter, we'll just put everything in here and store everything. I love it. And then this thing. Um, Pretty cool. We're not done yet. Anyway, you kind of have to get through rocking your muscles. But. Oh. He doesn't. The kids don't bother because they don't. Is that for TV? We got the, we got the media. <laughs> oh, that's great. TV there. Sit right here. What is this material right here? It's tile. That's a tile. Yeah, we tile this. 
And so you lock it up? Lock it up, put everything away. Weatherproof? Weatherproof. And then you can sit out here and watch TV? Yep. <laughs> and then the curtains all closed if you need to. Got a little heater. Oh, oh yeah, of course. No, you I love it. Gonna put, uh, I don't know, maybe trellis or something. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. We spent the rest of the evening enjoying the company of Will and Sue, but we thought it was important to share that there are endless ways to use your RV. In this case, it's a second home on the other side of the country with all the amenities that Will and Sue need during the winter. And because it's RV life we're talking about, let's fix some stuff. This is a big day. <laughs> it is. This is a big day. I'm not getting my water in the sink. My water filter? I'm not getting my oh, water filter. Oh, <laughs> yes. But what that's, I am getting that's. today. Why well, you gotta bring that up? <laughs> because I'm getting a new fan in here. This is um, the Dometic fridge. It's fabulous, but it has not been working. So it's moved from fabulous to. It worked we for need two years. It worked for two years. Right. So, what we want to do though is this happens to people in their rigs and they think it's the rig's fault, right? But really, these systems are in a lot of different kinds of rigs. So mm -hmm. if we can figure out how to fix it, then maybe if you come across the problem, no matter what rig you have, you can fix it too. So Mark reached out and they sent a fan. And then this is the extent of Trish explaining. Mark is gonna move <laughs> into fixing. Hoping this fan resolves the issue. It might not, but it's the first step to figure it out because when I turn it on I hear the fan going and then the fan stops and then we have a problem so let's get this fan replaced and then um, we'll turn it on and then hopefully when we pull into Laguna Beach or Crystal Cove in uh, about three hours let's hope everything still is hunky-dory and then we're gonna drive up the West Coast and there's some places we want to visit before we get to Vinny's and if it's not working properly by the time we get to Vinny's well then we can bring in some better solutions you see how this one moved in See oh that? yeah, there you go. See, but then, okay, so that's gonna sit there. And now I need this one to do the same thing. And I broke it. Yeah, he said, he said in the email, don't don't break the plastic clips. <laughs> and uh, and the reason I had you doing it instead of me is because you weren't supposed to break the plastic clips. Wow. Hey, but these things will still go back in. Okay, good. You know, the first step might be, if you have this problem, is see if there's anything obstructing the fan. And I'll also tell you, a lot of the issues that we had in the past with the fridge not working has to do with the ventilation out the back. If you have like a, on our propane fridge, if the vents are closed. And then the other issue with, with our Dometic fridge, I'm sorry, our Norcold fridge, is that the latch wouldn't hold and it would have a little opening and that would that was creating a problem. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I gotta take those screws off. I'm gonna take these screws off right here. I'm gonna take these screws off right here to take that panel out. That'll expose the connection. I'll disconnect it. I'll cut the zip tie to bring the fan out. I will mount the new fan, reconnect it, turn on the fridge. So let me get let me get a blade and or cutters. Here we go. <laughs> of all the repairs I've ever done, I've never had one so absolutely ergonomically convenient. I mean, this is fantastic. The cord is plugged in. Woo! Oh. Ow, careful. Okay, hold on. Okay. Um. <laughs> Turn the fridge on, the fan is going. We're gonna put everything back. We're gonna drive to Laguna and we're gonna see if our fridge is cold. Oh my goodness, this would be so wonderful. This would be awesome. This would be awesome. That would be uh, one simple fix. By the way, thank you, David Murphy. <laughs> okay, we put this on our Amazon page. This right here, Nikron Light, is crazy bright. Very helpful. So nice. It moves around, it pivots. There's a magnet. Okay, $20. Well, you never know. <laughs> Could have gone up, but it's fantastic. Love this light. Absolutely love this light. It's got a little clip here. Put it in your pocket, put it in your pants, 
put it in Ralph. It's fantastic. <laughs> and it has a low setting and it's off. All right, let's okay, go. Let's go. go. I can't wait to see Laguna, Newport Beach, the ocean, and Jeff and Deb. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Go, boy. Yes. Gotta give them be like a little cheerleading team. Closed up. Yeah, we're all ready. What? Do I need to do anything? Nope. All right. So we're gonna put in Crystal Cove. Oh my gosh, this is like a dream. It's amazing. It's so gorgeous there. It's amazing. <gasps> and we're not entirely out of the woods with the fridge yet because even previously when I turned it on after being off, the fan would run. The question is, will it continue to run all day long? Mm. Will it run tomorrow? Will it run the next day? I'll buy small amounts of groceries because that exactly. is the worst feeling. Oh, it's that's that's where it stings with yeah. fridge problems is going to the store. Going to the okay, we are store. in Palm Springs. We're staying at Indian Waters RV Resort. Quite nice. Bruce is uh, over here. Bruce and his wife are here from Ontario. They're staying here for a while. And then they're going to Acala, Florida, of all places. Okay, two hours and 11 minutes. Here we go. Hey, we're gonna run into uh, Chick-fil-A because that's our road food when we don't have food is the um, Southwest salad. chicken salad with the avocado dressing This is uh, Jeff and Deb actually turned us on to us So it's kind of funny that we're headed to go see them and we're having this This is a crazy. I think it's delicious It's healthy and there's Chick-fil-A's just about everywhere. Okay, but they're tricky to get into sometimes Hey, hi Okay, that was a madhouse. Yeah. So good you didn't go in there. Oh yeah, well, and I was over here, I figured we could eat in the Airstream. Great, let's do it. And then Hi, Caleb's on the phone. Oh good, what he's, do you have to say? He's got his Liberty cycling suit. Stop. So he's FaceTiming us, he wants to show us. I can't wait. All right, hold on Caleb. Hi. Hi. First off, he gave me the, uh, the jacket for this year. This is the design. Woo! Nice. Cycling jacket with some pockets in the back. And then I got um, a jersey, like like uh, just a normal jersey, but it's a long sleeve and it's super thick, Ooh. super warm. Oh, baby. And then um, my speed suit, so for racing. And let me tell you, this thing looks a little whack when you put on a speed suit, but it fits really nicely. It, ha and, it says um, ESPN. Whoa. I'm power eating. Is this cold? Open it up. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. Open up the fridge. Don't tease me, fridge. Don't tease me. Are you so gonna far, stay so like good. this? So far, so good. Let's make some ice cubes. Ooh. <laughs> Great idea. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> That's the tray you got from the Amazon Live. Oh yeah, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Doing? That's unbelievable, isn't it? It is absolutely gorgeous. We're gonna be looking at that for the next four days. That's oh, amazing. That's great. I tell you, there really is nothing like California. This is true. Hey, Charlie, this. Where'd you go, Charlie? <laughs> Charlie. Oh, Maddie used to like this, Charlie. She could smell it in the air. Charlie, this is what Maddie used to live for. Hey, how are you? Good. Oh my gosh. Isn't this is fantastic. This is so cool. Wow. Yeah, so bring her cool. all the way over. Well, pretty magnificent location. I need to come up about mm, half an inch. When I gotta come up a half inch, I just use I just use leveling blocks like this. Simple. Actually, with that little crease right there, 
I'm just gonna do one. Cool, I'm gonna chalk up, we'll disconnect. We'll hang out, we'll get the awning out a little bit. We'll get Charlie, take him for a walk. I'm gonna take him for a walk. We're gonna, um, And then we'll you and I need to go hit again. that trail. Check out let's listen. Let's see, I'm just gonna... See, I don't hear anything. We don't use that compartment enough. We don't, we should use it for something else. But anyway, let's go, I'm gonna go check on the fridge. favorite upgrades. Perfect ambiance, low voltage, USB, but the ours have been a little weathered over the years, so we got a new a new set. How was your little walk? It was great. Yeah? It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful here, I can't even stand it. Yeah. You have music playing? Yeah. Lights up? Look, wow, look at you, setting it up. He's exhausted. Is he? One loop around. He's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you usually only take me to like four sites. <laughs> let's go explore. First, let's find the trash cans. No, oh, is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> trash is right over here. There's a bathhouse. Oh really? Yes. Yeah, let's so go check it out. Yeah, let's, let's go, go look see. inside. Yeah, let's go see what it looks like. Oh, look at that little picnic area. Okay, so that's Catalina directly across. Oh really? And further north are the Channel Islands. And the Channel Islands are a national park. Mm -hmm. And so I believe you can go out there and you can camp. You can kayak and things like that, but there's nothing motorized over there. Yeah. It's very rustic, mm -hmm. not rustic. Primitive. Exactly. The end of November, past Thanksgiving. It's after Thanksgiving, it's before December 1st. The temperature is short sleeves and shorts. Or if you're, you know, got a little Arizona in you. <laughs> you're, you don't have to be in that though. <laughs> What's that? You don't have to be in that though. It's, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Here's a little shower. You need tokens. You have a place to set your things down. And then you have a little shower. I can only imagine that it's mid. <laughs> Not super warm. Yeah, well, it's super clean. clean. But it's super clean. Put your little tokens in. Boom. You have a shower. So you can camp. That's the best part. Like kids could, you could come here with your family, put out a tent, and they have a shower, they have a place to get ready. It's so cool. Yeah, that way your RV can accommodate six for drinks, four for dinner, two for sleeping. And here's some tokens. See you tomorrow. Teenagers in the shower <laughs> <It's> outside. <laughs> We're gonna go right under that tunnel. We're gonna work out on the beach. And then when we're done, we're gonna go walk to the shack. <laughs> you could get there right from this beach. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. A couple things about the park I think you should know. One is, it seems as though every site is the best site. So you really can't go wrong if you go here. Your instincts will tell you that the best sites will be closest to the water which might be true, but you do hear a little bit of the road noise, whereas we don't hear any of that road noise. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that subsides in the evening. The other thing is there are some big rigs here. Yes. So, I mean, you're gonna have to go on the website and check it out, but I mean, I've seen some big rigs. Yeah. So that seems to be a problem. But here's what I wanna know. Trish and I are gonna be in many, many state parks, national parks, um, a lot of places that I think the KYD community would like to visit. What do you want to know from us as it relates to a campground 
overview. review. Overview. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. What are some things that we should focus on? Because mm -hmm. we can provide these reviews. It's very simple. We're already here. Is Charlie enjoying the view? Yes. What are you doing, Charlie? What are you doing, Charlie? You enjoying the view? What do you think of your new bed, Charlie? <laughs> Real happy. <laughs> Real happy with my new sleeping arrangements. Yeah. <laughs> I got the memo. This space is mine. Yeah. Yep. Not for long, Charlie. What is that supposed to mean? Because he's not going to have this bed. We're going to change it up on him. Mm. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Join us next week from Crystal Cove where we reconnect with Jeff and Deb, and Jeff does what Jeff does best, checklists. Oh, you're gonna oh, scroll? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is called a funda. <laughs> a funda. And it's gonna involve trains and trails. So they call this a rails to trails, and that's what we're gonna get to do today. Is that the first thing on the agenda? Because I didn't see the Huntington Beach. No, park. the first one was Hug and Howdy. Hug and Howdy? We catch up with Winston on the road and do some rails to trails in a whole new way. The KYD hats are now shipping out for Christmas, so snatch them up quick by going to keepyourdaydream.com slash hat, and we'll see you down the road.